Hey guys, welcome to What's in the Mail with Marcus Troy. We got a pretty big package from our friends over at Jordan Brand who decided to lace us with some of the new things that are coming out in the future. These shoes are not out yet, so we're gonna talk through them and hopefully by the time you see this video, you have an idea of what's to come in the future. So, let's start off with this. Beautiful red box, XXX2, so that's for 32. I absolutely love these. These, in my opinion, are pretty amazing. I know online there was mixed reviews on this shoe, but I really love it. We're starting a ball league next week, and I'm definitely balling these. Why do I like these? They look super comfortable. They have elements that are reminiscent of past Jordans, like the Jordan 2 I see on this. Um, I love the fact that they've used fly knit, so you know this shoe's gonna be comfortable. I love the I love the I love the silhouette. I love the look. I think this is a shoe that could be a classic in a few years. Love this shoe. We also have it in a low. So you have these in two colorways. You got the black and you got the red. The red's my favorite personally. Beautiful. Really nice, really, really nice. I'm really, really feeling these. I'm looking forward to playing ball on these ones. This is called the Flight Speed. They're pretty lightweight, so I think they're ideal for ball. Um, I love the extra padding on the insole for ankle support. I um, haven't tried these on as of yet, but they're beautiful and they agree with me. Look what it says on the inside, bellissimo. I have to admit, I love the high version a lot more than the low, but I mean, depending on your style of play, depending on the style of shoes you like to wear, this is a low version to the Jordan 32s. So we have a set right here. There you have it. So now we have some shoes that are, have yet to be released, and we're gonna break them down for you guys. Wow, wow, wow. Do I have to say anything else? Look at this shoe. Suede Jordans on my feet make my cipher complete. These are beautiful. These are the Jordan 6s, but in a tan suede colorway. How beautiful is this shoe? This is the perfect shoe for fall. If, you're Jordan, if you are a Jordan enthusiast and you want to make sure that your Jordan game is equipped for the fall, this is the shoe for you. Let's see what are they calling this colorway. Golden Harvest. Golden Harvest, that's a perfect name to describe this shoe. Beautiful. Haha. Uh -huh. This is also another Harvest colorway. It's the Jordan Trunner. I remember when the Trunners came out back in the day. I believe they were worn by a Roy Jones Jr. So these are the Jordan Trunner LX High in a Golden Harvest colorway. Another shoe for the fall. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. We have to pretty we have to do a on foot look of what this looks like, cause I haven't styled these yet, so I don't know what or how to wear these as of yet, but we have to do a couple tests for you guys for you guys how to rock them. What else do we got here? Okay, these look like Jordan 1s. It's a Jordan 1 box. Another Harvest colorway. Golden Harvest colorway. Now these are also amazing. Jordan 1 and the Golden Harvest colorway. Gum soles. These look like you can skate in them. If I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken, Nike SB came out with a Dunk High several years ago in this colorway. But to have it in a Jordan 1 is very beautiful. Another great shoe for the fall. You don't want to get these dirty. These are awesome. Big fan. 
Jordan 1's in the Golden Harvest colorway. Now, today is November 2nd. I believe these dropped yesterday. In my opinion, the Jordan 1 in Fly Knit has to be the shoe of the year. But here you have it in a new colorway with the swoosh in the Golden Harvest color. And it's a Fly Knit Jordan 1. I can assume and imagine that these are hyper comfortable. Beautiful shoe, very well designed. The fly knit makes it a game changer. I know a lot of sneaker sites are gonna do their yearly roundup of the shoe of the year. I have to say that I haven't been paying attention to every single shoe that's been dropping, but in my personal opinion, the Jordan 1 fly knit steps in as a shoe of the year for me personally. Beautiful shoe, fly knit so you know it's comfortable. Um, the original colorways in the bread and the royal is obviously my favorite color colorway. This is also very nice and sleek. I gotta try these on for good measure to make sure that I, what I'm saying about comfort is true. Every shoe I have in a fly knit has been extremely comfortable, so I'm excited to try these ones on. And last but not least, we have a Jordan 12 Retro. I don't believe these to be out as yet either, but man, this is a beautiful fall color. I keep saying beautiful because there's no other way to describe these shoes. Back in the day, if you had anything in this cobalt gray, or what are they calling it? They're calling it dark gray, wolf gray. Um, I remember going to New York and getting a denim suit in this color, getting boots in this color. It was such a beautiful color to get. If you guys remember, Jordan used to come out with, they come with a Jordan 5 in a wolf gray colorway. There's several shoes under the Jordan banner with the wolf gray colorway, but in the 12, it's really nice. Comes out really sleek. Great fall shoe, Jordan 12. Thank you for tuning in to What's in the Mail. Hope you enjoyed all of these new releases, and catch us next time. Peace.